Oh yeah, so it has actually generated a thumbnail. So it's the thumbnail generation that's gone wrong. Uh, so we can see this is using a small version. It's clearly not the original JPEG uh, and it's using a thumbnails folder. So I think it's already done the whole thumbnail generation thing and it's just not using the rotation properly. So we're just gonna go back and say, our thumbnails are not in the right orientation. Do we need to check the EXIF rotation data and generate them uh, in the right orientation? So obviously a uh, small bit of kind of prior understanding knowledge that the data for images is, is called the EXIF data, um, but it would have figured that out if I didn't use that word. So it's whacked in a load of code there that's gonna look at the EXIF orientation and then hopefully create the thumbnails. It's gonna rerun that script. Um, I was just deleting all the thumbnails. You'll be careful <laughs> quickly approving RM commands. If you ever see RM, RF, you need to be really careful because that is running a system delete command that doesn't go to the trash, it's just gone. Um, so be very careful with that. So it's rerunning that initial import script now after deleting the first batch of thumbnails. So you can see what we've kind of done here is get to the point where it's showing us something in the browser. We can see the decisions it's made to get to that point. I think it's easier to work with this this way because it's so quick at iterating and changing. Um, it's not worth trying to have predicted all that by looking at the code first. Just let it do what it wants first and then work out where it's gone wrong and fix it. Okay, so it says to refresh, let's do that. Yay, so all the thumbnails are now the right way up. So that was, that was a great example of sort of where it made a mistake, but we just fixed it by looking at the output.